choose a city that is absolutely bursting at the seams with undiscovered talent. Coventry scene's always been quite big. A lot of the local skateboarders have always been you know, put down a lot of good tricks. Okay, uh, the Coventry scene has always been absolutely fantastic, really. So I say, since I started years ago, it's just been slowly building and building and building. If it hadn't been for skateboarding, life could have gone in definitely a worse direction. Skateboarding on my life is, it is my life. Uh, without skateboarding, I don't have a clue what else I'll be doing. We just don't have a great facility. I think Coventry skate parks need uh, a bit more diversity. We've got one skate park pretty much that's usable. It's still not that great. I think one of the main problems is the size and kind of what's actually in the parks. The lack of adequate skateboarding facilities in the city has forced locals out onto the streets. There's nowhere else to go really. It's, it's just... too wet when the wind turns, there's nothing else you can really do. Um, if we had an indoor skate park, we, we wouldn't have to face all the security and police every day. We wouldn't have to worry about not having a place to skate. It could be an art space, it can be a place to meet people, it can be a place for young people if they're scared to go to bigger places, and it'd be a more secure environment as well. The best thing about indoor skate parks is they can be designed, built and maintained by the local riders. Culture Skate Park's proposed layout has been designed by locals and approved by professional skate park builders. Culture can offer a facility that gives riders the kind of obstacles that Coventry skate parks are missing. £2,000. But if we exceed that amount, we get to keep all the money and it all goes towards the park. So what are we spending the money on? Boring, but important stuff. First off, we need to launch an official website. This means paying for a domain, web space and a web designer who's going to code the whole thing. We also need the money for legal fees and advice. We're not lawyers and there's a lot of uh, legal complicated stuff we need to worry about as well. There also be financial fees and we're going to need to get an accountant. Then we need to pay for continued consultation with park builders to ensure the skate park is the best quality we can get. <laughs> 